I'm Paul Blank, I'm the president of Southern New Hampshire University. It was a pleasure joining the, the um, meeting today and, and really what I was trying to talk about were the dramatic changes that are going on in American higher education and the implications of that for publishers and to try to frame that within a theory of innovation and how innovation happens so that it just doesn't simply become everything's changing, oh my god, what do we do? But rather, okay, everything's changing, but there's opportunity here and there's a theory about how to take advantage of that opportunity. When we think of the challenges of the digital age in higher education, um, we don't think of technology necessarily as a threat to the traditional university, but rather as um, more often a set of tools for helping us reinvent how we think about delivery. So if you think about this, if you went to school in a small rural place in America, you were pretty limited in terms of the resources that were available to you. But today, online technology means you can plug right into the NASA database if you're in an astronomy class, for example. Um, and we used to think about libraries as, and, and worry, you know, did we have enough books? Did we have enough journals? And that idea of the library as warehouse is really antiquated now. Now we think about access points because the whole world is available no matter where you are. Um, it's really powerful stuff. And for um, the increasing number of working adults who enroll in American colleges and universities, online education has become a very powerful way to deliver education in ways that work better for them. So if you think about traditional classroom options, uh, adults work all day, and then they sort of race to the campus for their evening class. They're usually eating bad food on the way, you know, go through the fast food line, rush into class, and then rush home in the hope that you would see your kids before they go to sleep. Now, you go home from work, you have dinner, you have family dinner, you read to your kids, you tuck them in, you make a cup of tea, and maybe at 9.30 at night is when you log in and you begin class. So that convenience factor has really been a fundamental change. So in America, we've seen this enormous growth of enrollments in online learning. That's a, that's a big disruptive change in our world. Ten years ago, the challenge was, can we take an online class and make it as good with the same quality as a traditional class. And it really took some work to get there. Today it's actually flipped. In summary, I think the challenges facing publishers is the need to unbundle materials that are sort of now, in many cases, sort of ballooned in a way that overwhelms teachers and students and they end up getting much more than they want. And the analogy here is the record album. You know, in the old days, you would, if you loved a single, you had to buy the album. So you got a whole bunch of songs they didn't like very much. That, that model, as you know, gone away. So publishers are going to have to think about that, and the record industry is not a bad analogy. The second piece is publishers create materials to help students learn, and the question will be increasingly asked, how do we know? How good is this? And they're going to have to think about the kind of data analytics that they can build into the system and that's going to be critical. The third is really also building materials that integrate well with the complicated learning systems that institutions increasingly use. So if you have a digital-based product and it's difficult to make it work within a system, people will, will turn elsewhere. They'll, they'll find the, the, the alternative that works. So these are all things that publishers I think, will have to think about as we go forward. I, I think speculating on the future of publishing is um, is difficult territory. I distrust people who have crystal balls about the future because they're almost always wrong. Um, but I would think maybe publishing needs to look at some analogous industries. Look at what happened in the music industry. Because publishers are in some ways n not dissimilar to um, music companies uh, 10 years ago. And that world has been disruptive, but it's also been invented. One could argue there's more music now than ever before and it's available in more ways, in more formats, and it's actually spurned another creative wave of music. That was less true 10 or 15 years ago. But the record companies aren't what they were, and there are new players and new providers. I think um, the future of publishing, I think it's gonna to have to be more agile. I think it's gonna to have to be more integrated. I think it's going to be much more than print. Um, I think it has to be integrated into a learning ecosystem. So you can't think about um, Here's my book that I've sold you to use with your students. It's going to be much more, I have to understand the ecosystem of this institution and how I can support that and the ways I can partner, and it, can be, and it needs to be much more integral, if you will. If it's only an add-on, people won't buy it. I think the Schilling Conference is uh, well-constructed and a really important and great idea 
Um, I think it's important for people who are laboring away and trying to think about the future and to reinvent their companies to be able to be in this kind of setting, which is not huge. So it's not just people speaking at them, but it's conversation and it's intimate enough um, that there's a genuine sharing of ideas and the agenda is provocative enough to really kind of pull you out of your day to day and say, hmm, let me sit back and think about this and what that means for me. That's, that's invaluable because, you know, the reality is that very, very busy business people get, um, they get captive to their inbox and to their email. And it's hard to step out and be strategic. And we know that's what we need to do, but the tyranny of the flow of everyday work makes that sometimes very hard. So the Schillen Conference is, is a terrific idea. I hope I can come back sometime.